Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Follow the moon from Jupiter to Mars. Greetings, fellow stargazers. I'm James Albury from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you can see the moon at night, but not in the morning? And sometimes you can see the moon in the morning, but not at night? I can explain with a little help from our moon. Next week, you can best catch the moon in the morning skies. We have our skies set up for Saturday, August 20th at 5 a.m., looking high in the southeast. You can't miss the third quarter moon just above the second brightest object in the pre-dawn sky, the stately planet Jupiter. This conjunction between the moon and Jupiter is only temporary. Every day, the moon shifts about 13 degrees across the background stars towards the east. That means that if we look at the sky the very next morning, same place, same time, the moon will appear about 13 degrees away from Jupiter. The next morning, Monday, August 22nd, the moon will be another 13 degrees farther east and shine between the Pleiades star cluster and the face of Taurus the Bull. This apparent movement is caused by the moon's orbit around the Earth. It takes the moon 27.3 days to orbit the Earth and return to a similar place among the stars. So, 27.3 days after August 20th, September 16th, the moon will be close to Jupiter again. To complete a full orbit in 27.3 days, it moves pretty fast, about one kilometer per second through space. And to cover all 360 degrees of that orbit in that time, well, this moon motion averages out to about 13 degrees per day. Where the moon lies in its orbit tells you the best time of day to view it. When the moon is new, it rises and sets with the sun. It's up during the day and you just can't see it. However, if you wait a day or two, you can see a waxing crescent moon in the west just after sunset. The first quarter moon rises about six hours after the sun and sets six hours after the sun. So you can see the moon right after it gets dark. The classic full moon rises as the sun sets because the moon has arced around in its orbit to the opposite side of the sky from the sun. You might see this if you're driving east at sunset. As the sun goes down in the west, a big full moon rises on the opposite horizon. In the morning, it's the waning moon that you can see, sometimes even after the sun rises. During a third quarter moon, the moon is three quarters of its way around the earth and heading back to new moon. The sun, earth, and moon make a nice 90 degree angle in the sky, with the moon rising about six hours before the sun. Once you get good at recognizing the moon's phase and its position in the sky, you can even start telling time with just the moon. Let's get back to the sky to watch where the moon goes next. On Tuesday, August 23rd, the moon is most definitely waning, or getting smaller, and will be a waning crescent. And it has shifted closer to that most famous constellation, Orion the Hunter. There he is right below the moon with his belt of three stars and his upraised arms. It almost looked like he's about to catch the moon. The next morning, Wednesday, August 24th, the moon has continued in its orbit around the Earth and shifted another 13 degrees closer to the eastern horizon. And now, instead of catching the moon, Orion looks like he decided to whack it with his club. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll miss it. Because the next morning, Thursday, August 25th, a slimmer crescent moon will cozy up next to the planet of a redder color, Mars. Mars is much fainter than Jupiter right now, even though it's so much closer to us. In fact, Mars is more than twice as close to the Earth right now compared to Jupiter. But at 1 20th the diameter of Jupiter, Mars can't compete with Jupiter's brilliance. So watch the moon move through a quarter of its orbit this week, and it will lead you from giant Jupiter on August 20th to rusty Mars on August 25th. And it dodges the Seven Sisters, the Bull, and Orion's Bat. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.